Welcome to Connect the Dots, a podcast where we unlock the stories that connect each and every one of us. Hosted by me, Zach Day, in partnership with Connect Nashville. How do you connect? How do you connect? That's what I always do. <laughs> How do you connect? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming this week. My name is Zach Day. I'm over here at Connect the Dots podcast at Connect Nashville. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Today, I'm joined by my friend and guest, Lucy Miller. Hi, Lucy. Hi. How are you? So good. Good to, to see to you. Here. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Make sure we get in here because I'm scared I'm not going to be able to hear. Oh, that's so much better. Better? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, we're ready. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, How have so you been excited. today? Doing great. Yeah. It's a Friday. So Friday. Happy Friday, it's right? Be great. <laughs> what have you been up to this morning? Just getting ready, you uh, know. Hit the um, gym, a little work. Nice. And Sounds productive it's already. Right. Productive day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's more than I can say. I haven't gone to the gym yet or anything like that. I haven't even eaten any breakfast yet. I just had coffee and I'm running on coffee right now. But yes, the day is still young. Um, Lucy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what's your story, what brought you over here to connect today, what's going on in the in the world of Lucy? Lots. <laughs> um, I am a Nashville native, so nice. I don't find many of us. No, that's here. really true. Oh, yeah, I grew up here in Nashville and Franklin specifically, and um, after moving around a ton, um, and after I got married, my husband and I moved back here, and we have two um, young children, eight and ten, so... Um, on the personal side, life is busy right now with sports pretty much every night of the week. Oh, and, yeah. Um, but on the professional side, I uh, started a company kind of on accident, and now I'm growing it on purpose. And that's kind of that's what's going <laughs> here. I know. That is what's happening in my life. But basically um, started a company to find a way to network with other women in business personally. Mm -hmm. um, or excuse me, I started – uh, happy hour <laughs> to, to network with other <laughs> on a women. Facebook on a Facebook thing, post. right? Yeah, yes, a Facebook post, and we have grown just exponentially crazy fast across the state of Tennessee and into Kentucky and Alabama now. And we are Women Connect. That is the name Women of Connect. We are Women Connect. Nice. And well, that's so, perfect with this with this podcast yes. and with Connect in general. Connection. It's what it's all about, right? Absolutely. I'm really yeah. passionate about helping women find the opportunities to create those genuine relationships. And I think that sometimes that can be hard to do, especially as adults, whether it be to make friends even, yeah. or even just find opportunities for these awesome, genuine conversations to happen, not just yeah. shaking a hand, passing your business card. And right. On. So right. And that can get so saturated and so yes. just like fake and all this other yep. stuff. I mean, like that's a big thing about me moving to Nashville too is just like you want to be able to find people that you genuinely connect with or have like a a good relationship with and it's not easy to find that unless you're willing to put yourself out there so tell us a little bit about that like you started you were looking for ways to meet people and and mm -hmm. make form genuine connections right Absolutely. and then you created this Facebook page or something that was like I'm just looking to like maybe get together and meet people right tell us a little bit about that how, yeah. how sorry I didn't mean to step on your no, toe <laughs> tell us a little bit about how you how you started okay with yeah, that, uh, that with, story with is, all of that yeah it's fun so <laughs> uh, as a professional woman um, I was looking for ways to meet other professionals and there are lots of groups out there so I'll be the first to say there are so many wonderful groups in Nashville for women and men, and then for also women. And I think that that's wonderful. I think the more the merrier, the more ways we can find to connect with each other, the better. Um, but specifically in Franklin, where I live, there was not something that I was aware of specifically for women. And um, not that I don't love being around men. Yeah. I totally do. But <laughs> um, I really felt that opportunity would be, you know, important and fun. And so... I had been looking for groups and had, you know, visited a few, but there wasn't really one that had caught my eye enough to join or yeah. go on a regular basis. Yeah. And so I was in the car, my husband was driving, we were going to see my grandmother in Georgia and I was, I was scrolling Facebook, you know, <laughs> I was doing that passenger, uh, right. <laughs> social media scroll. And there was a woman in a mom of Frank moms of Franklin group that asked the question, where do the professional women here network? Mm -hmm. And a lot of women were immediately commenting that, you know, they wanted to know the answer. Some had a few answers, but I was like, oh, well, what's the answer? So I was looking and nothing really, you know, was new there on what I, what I was saying. And so I looked at my husband and I, I literally said, I think I could just start a little group and 
that I would be in control of what the dates are. Right. So I'll know I can go and we'll just throw together a little thing. And so I created a Facebook group right there, called it Franklin Women Connect. Not a whole lot of thought into the name. Right. And put that group link back on that post. And 10, 15 minutes later, had 30, 40 women like had joined the group. Wow. You know, just to be in the loop of when we were going to meet up. So what? we had our first happy hour in January of 2020. Wow. <laughs> so, not, Not knowing, too long before <laughs> everything happened. I know. Not knowing that, you know, what was going to happen. So right. we gathered in person and there was a lot of genuine relationships formed that very first evening that are still in place today. I'm still friends with many of those women. Right. And I think we all left that first gathering feeling really excited to have the opportunity to keep growing that and keep finding new women that were interested in you know, that genuine opportunity to connect as well. Wow. So, that's so interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's just the power of social media too, Absolutely. right? I mean, like I can say for myself too, that social media has its, definitely has its ups and downs. Yeah. And sometimes I get really annoyed with it, but at the same time, it's, it can give you a lot of amazing opportunities and really great ways to meet people yeah. and stuff like that. So that's amazing. So that was kind of the iteration of the group. Yeah. You did the first meetup in January, 2020 <laughs> and how many people did you say showed up to that? Uh, we had we had ten. The picture of it, two of the ladies were gone. So, the only, but we had ten. We had ten, 10 people. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, and that's just really great too because, like, first of all, it's kind of difficult to get people to actually show up. I, I, you know. Uh, I mean? Well, two. I will say, two of the ladies there um, were my friends that I made go with me just yeah. in case. Yes, of course. Showed up. Yeah. <laughs> but the rest were new to me, and we. I love to say we had a few good months. And yeah. Then we shut down for a while, yeah. meeting in person. And in the fall of 2020, we actually started back outdoors again. Um, nice. Up and, and then it really took off from there in 2021 is when things really started to to grow. just grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I was going to ask you if that was kind of were some of those first initial moments, um, you know, you were you kind of partnering with these places to have these meetups or were you just like, look, we're going to have it in my backyard. We're going to have it. at We're going to have a happy hour you know, we're just going to all meet up there. It's not necessarily like a sanctioned event or, or how, how did that all go for you? Because that was probably a good way for you as a professional woman mm -hmm. to really get involved with local businesses or something like that. Right. I don't know. How, yeah. How'd that work? Well, so we love to have pretty much every event at some sort of local business. Mm -hmm. so we do sh shy away from chains now, but even then that was, you know, a huge part of what we were doing, but it was very hard in the beginning. And I'll say, um, I'm not an event planner type person. Yeah. I do. I feel like I do that now, but, um, <laughs> like that's I'm, not what I'm trained for. What I'm trained for. <laughs> um, and so it was really hard in the beginning, especially because we weren't a business yet. I was just trying to gather women and not knowing how many people would show up and, you know, did I need a reservation for 10 or did right. I need a reservation for 30? Right. And oh that gosh. was, that was a struggle in the beginning and really a learning curve for me to, to figure out how to manage that and handle it. And part, that's partly why when I made the shift and I created a website and started really thinking through how this was going to work, I really needed to know how many people were coming. Right. If nothing else to respect the venue where we were going to be. Right. Um, and so we could plan. So that's really where eventually that shift had to be made so that we could better handle the masses of people that were, I mean, cause we got to where there were times we were, were selling out. We were, in a 50 person room and we had to say we couldn't fit any more. I mean, that's such an amazing problem. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So in the beginning, definitely it was really tricky, but no, never in my backyard. Right. But yeah. Arrington is a really fun, easy meetup. Nice. Because we don't have to tell them how many people are coming. <laughs> Good. So. <laughs> that's amazing. So, um, that that's really cool. I mean, that that is that's part of the struggle, I guess, is like at first just trying to figure it out, but then it gets to a point where it gets big enough to where it's like, oh wait, like I'm actually gonna have to create a website. I'm gonna have to like uh, now Learn this is this. your business now, mm -hmm. right? And like it's part of the the thing that you do that you've attached your name to it, and and that's just really special. So you had a couple friends that were going with you. Um, then in 2021, it just started to take off again. So if you wouldn't mind, just tell us a little bit about like when you started to realize that this was something that was actually going to take off for Definitely. you. Yeah. Well, um, coming into 2021 in hindsight, like that was pretty quickly that we did this, but I really wanted to plan a learning event. So we were networking only, but I did see the need for the business women that were attending our events to, to learn on 
some topics. And so I arranged for a CPA to join us in January of 2021 to just talk about like getting organized for the year. And I okay. like selfishly needed to like be taught this information too. And we had 50 women at that event and t- t- for 50 women to show up during a pandemic to learn from a CPA, which love them all, but <laughs> not the most exciting topic yeah. out there. Yeah. Uh, that was pivotal because it showed the magnitude of our reach and the women wanting to not only make new connections, but that we're really thriving on the opportunity to learn more and grow and, and achieve their goals. And so we had a huge turnout and I had so many women starting to ask, well, I live in Brentwood. Do you have this in Brentwood? I live in Nashville. Can I still come to the Franklin event? Right, right. uh, Two friends slash women that I had gotten to know through the organization really rose up as saying, like, really, I want to help you do this in these cities. And so we started Brentwood and Nashville chapters in March of 2021 with huge success, and those are still three of our strongest chapters. In wow. Tennessee. They've been around the longest. That's so um, cool. But we started having two events every month for each of those chapters. Wow. Yeah. So That's amazing. Ladies everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is. I mean, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So when you were growing up and and you were, you know, just this little girl and you were like, well, I want what do I want to do when I grow up? Like, what were what were you thinking like – your life would look like as an adult? Did you think that this was something that you would be doing or like, what were your dreams? What what were your aspirations and and how have that, how has that shifted into who you are today? Yeah. Well, the funny answer is that I wanted to be a mermaid. Well, I love that. that. (laughs) I mean, me too. Yes. yes, We, we, we're not going to achieve that. Right. I guess not. No, we're not going to achieve that goal. Um, you know, I definitely didn't see this in my future. I mean, even in, you know, 20, even in 2019, I didn't see this in my future as what I would be doing now full time. Yeah. With all of this, um, you know, passion. But I think you know, as a, as a young girl, I was, you know, an athlete, I was competitive. I was goal driven. Um, I had an amazing supportive family and parents that were excited to see me succeed at anything that I did. And yeah. so I always felt that whatever I decided to do, I you were going to have it. support. I was going to have support, but I was also going to go full in. Right. And so t- that is what I feel like has translated the most into what I've done as an adult and the success I'm seeing and how I'm getting to now use that and support others to do that as well. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I graduated from college with a marketing degree and... I mean, I don't feel like I'm really using a lot of the <laughs> skills I used way back then in college. But yeah the marketing has shifted. And so social media is a strength and we're using that yeah. a lot. And that, that and word of mouth and referrals is how, you know, we've seen our growth really, yeah. um, you know, no advertising or things like that. It's really just been that organic growth. That's so, amazing. Yeah. I mean, and that's a, and like you said, like social media, like that just plays a huge part in that yeah. too. And I mean, as someone who's like, I'm a musician, so I'm like constantly having to promote myself and stuff like that. And it is, it's difficult to yeah. take out ads and all this other stuff. It's like, I can't do that. Like I, but it's like word of mouth, just putting yourself out there, going to the showing up, going you know, things, showing <laughs> going up, up, going yes. to things. Um, but I'm also a shy person. So it's like hard for someone like me to like, I cannot see that. I low key am low key. <laughs> like, I don't like to get out of the house very much. I mean, part of my entire thing is like, being as cozy and comfortable as possible because it's so important to just have those moments where you can just like relax and, and not get burnt out. Yeah. I um, with that. I think everybody does. And at some point, no matter matters. what you're trying to do, I think that you can get easily burnt out. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, that's, that's part of the thing, but we'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, so once you started pick, you know, picking up the pace and getting more people involved, it happened quickly, you yeah. know, and then you became Tennessee Women Connect. Yes, it wasn't it just Franklin Women Networking mm-hmm. anymore. It's now this fully fledged thing about women in Tennessee. And that was a huge step in the right direction as well. Right. I mean, like, so tell us a little bit about that. And like when it just expanded to just beyond Nashville and like mm-hmm. Franklin, now it's become women of all places in Tennessee yes. at the time. Yes. Right? Yeah. At, at the t- yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, so um, still back in 2021, we were going really fast and having lots of events where we were having lots of women and 
I was fielding requests all the time by email and social media, you know, Hey, I'm in Hendersonville or I'm in Spring Hill. We want, you know, and just very organically getting lots of requests to be in new places. And it wasn't just happy hours anymore. Like you yeah, said, it was like learning events yeah. and what, what else kind of stuff were you guys doing? Well, we try to stay in our lane and this is something I have learned a lot over the last few years. Um, and for many business owners, this can be a struggle to like not jump out in all the different shiny directions of mm. all the things. Cause everybody's got ideas yeah. of what you could be doing. Um, I am trying, we are trying to stay in our lane of providing connecting connection events. So networking events. However, we do provide some learn, some learning opportunities, but um, you know, ideas of all these other things always pop up, but I'm, I'm really going to try to keep us tight in that lane because that's what we're really good at. But it was in 2021 though, while all these other areas were asking for events that a friend of mine who she speaks for a living, she coaches others to speak. She said, Lucy, I know you've mentioned that you really wanted to have like a big learning event. She had heard me say that to her at one point. She said, you can do that right now. And I was like, Chila, what? Are, no, what are you talking about? She said, you can, you've got the people, you've got the momentum and you, you've got the ability to do this. So I said, okay. And we planned a full day conference in October, was it October, or September? October of 2021 at the Loveless Cafe Barn. Ooh, yeah. I love it there. So huge, bold yeah. step there. Yeah. I, you know, put down my own money rented this place out, started making plans, searched speakers, and we had 150 women in the barn for this huge day. I don't know how we pulled it off, but it was pretty much perfection. Amazing. It was so good. And so we launched our membership on that day. We announced five new chapters starting. Wow. In the in the coming months. And that is to me the pivotal moment of, okay, we've we've had a few chapters. We've been growing. Now it's go time. And so that's when we, at that point, I believe we were in eight chapters and growing really fast. Um, 2022 was another huge year where we added more, had another full day, amazing conference, 200 women there. Wow. Um, and these are women mostly from all of Tennessee, I guess, right? Correct. At that point, we were still just in middle Tennessee. So at that point, we had 10 chapters okay. here in the greater Nashville area, I would say, um, and in the last year, we added chapters in Chattanooga, in Memphis, in Tennessee. Nice. And then we expanded into Kentucky and Alabama last year Ooh. as well. And we had our third annual live conference last September, still at the Loveless. Nice. Um, an amazing full day. And um, our fourth one will be also still back at Loveless on September 27th this year. Nice. So excited. That is yeah. exciting. So it's like wild to see the progression of getting talked into having a full day thing. Yeah. So now it's a staple and it's a legit. tradition. It is. We're doing it annually. <laughs> Women look forward to it. We, you know, so many have had it on their calendar. Right. You know, all year long already. That's awesome. So, what kind yeah. of stuff um, were you guys doing at the conference and like different speakers? Like what can mm -hmm. like, if someone wanted to learn more about that or like yeah. kind of know what to expect, like what, what, what could they expect? Yeah. So that is a full day that we set aside for empowering and helping women to learn more of the things that they need to run their businesses. So for the professional woman that maybe owns her own company or maybe is even just in sales for a larger company, all of these topics will be applicable in some way. So for this year coming up, we're going to focus on topics, sales, marketing, leadership, finance, and strategic planning. So it's not going to be a really a day of fluff. It is yeah. like roll up your sleeves. Let's take some good notes. Let's figure out some items to implement when you leave here today. Wow. So it's a full day of learning, but lots of connecting time. We have a really great marketplace too, where women can display products and services Ooh, that they have. Okay. And yummy food. Oh, I'm sure. At the Loveless. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, it's my so God. good. Biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they're Biscuits. they're so good. I know I love that place. Um that's yeah. exciting. So are, could can anyone like sign up for this or any woman in, yes. can sign up for this or is it just like like you, I know you said something about a membership or something yeah. like that right we so. do have a membership but all of our events and our live conference are open to members and non-members and nice. so I love that we you will never hear or feel a strong like sales push from us on membership right, right. we would love for you to be that yeah. and we would love to help 
connect you in all the extra ways you get with that, but it's not mandatory. Right. So members and non-members can attend. Members, you just get special pricing. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a win. That's definitely a win. Yeah. Um, so that's in, you said, when was that again? It's going to be Friday, September 27th this year. Okay. So we moved it to a Friday. Nice. We had last year, we had women from seven different states attend. Wow. And so we just feel like a Friday would make things easier. That'd be for good. Those traveling. In. Yeah. You can come spend the weekend or do whatever you need yeah. to do in Nashville. Nashville's and... a hot spot <laughs> anyways. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, well that's September. So do you guys, um, I mean, I guess I should say you girls, do you girls <laughs> do like different events like once a month? Like, are you like kind of doing stuff all the time? Like what's the calendar look like for uh, you guys? The calendar's crazy. <laughs> so I bet. Every chapter has two events a month. Okay. So, here in Nashville, that means we have 20 events every single month. That's insane. It is crazy. But I love I'm it. I'm not at all of <laughs> I was going to say, how do you do I, that? <laughs> I would love to be because I love to go-go. But uh, we have amazing chapter leaders that lead each chapter. And so they're planning these events, and they're the hosts, and they're the ones that the attendees are getting to know. And they are really help helping to provide those connection opportunities and for it to be a valuable time for the woman who attends the event. Uh, we do coffees and lunches and happy hours, but I love to say that they're people focused. So we're not worried about every decor item being perfection. Yeah. Yes, we want lovely spaces. Yeah. But really it's about the person that you're talking to. And 100%. having that genuine opportunity to get to know them. And so you know, the conversations you can have over a cup of coffee um, are so valuable. And right. Valuable. So, yeah, I agree. I mean, that's kind of what we're doing here is just like a really great way at Connect Nashville to just like meet people and just give people a platform. I mean, especially with the podcast and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm right there with how do you feel when it comes to your business? And like, have you have you been have you had the opportunity to use these networking opportunities to your advantage to meet people that you might now consider friends, business partners for you personally. Yes, absolutely. So I love to say I have more amazing women in my life than I ever thought possible. Like love I'm it. kind of exploding with, with like incredible women, but you know, I am also a real estate agent and Ooh. so in my spare time, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy, but we're all busy and just making the best of it. But yeah. um, I absolutely have made incredible um, relationships for them that have turned into clients and business and referrals and repeat business. Yeah. But what I love is that it's not a hard sale. And I don't feel like it's ever this way for any of our attendees. It's not a hard sales pitch. It's really just getting to know somebody. And I enjoy that versus feeling like I'm having to be out there selling myself. So right. It's just a different kind of, um, it's just a different kind of opportunity. Yeah. But yeah. Personally, um, I would say business has been found and won and done, but also just the friendships that I've made through our group. And I know a lot of our women <laughs> would say that too. Um, I, I know yeah. a lot of our women would say that they've gained business opportunities hundred percent, but they've also gained really val valuable business friendships and, you know, that's a woman that you can call and be like, listen, I'm having this struggle in my business today. Yeah. Or I just want to grab lunch. You right. know, there, there's so many different ways that that can go from business to personal. Nice. And I mean, I guess for you too, personally, like you've definitely gotten what you were seeking and more yeah. from the initial, <laughs> just looking on Facebook for ways to <laughs> meet yeah, people and totally. network. I mean, now you've got this entire business. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess you definitely have gotten what you were looking for for that anyway. Um, what advice would you give to someone who may be um, wanting to kind of follow in your footsteps or a woman that may be like, you know what, I want to start my own business. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to continue to go out here and, and make a name for myself. What kind of advice would you give to someone who may have been in your position back when you were just looking on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say for someone that if they have something in mind or they have a goal or an idea, I would say go for it. I, I, I'm a fast decision maker. I'm a bold decision maker. And I, I love that about myself. And I love when I see women that are able to harness that and take it and run with it. And yeah. so, you know, obviously you need to do your research and you need to study the things you need to study and be open to ideas and, open to pivoting, you know, not attaching the ego to something. If it's not working, just to be able to say that, that didn't work. Right. And that's okay. Different, and that's yeah. okay. <laughs> and I've definitely had to say that a lot over the last 
few years, I would I would just tell a woman to go for it. Nice. You know, just dream big and but be prepared for the work. And do your homework yeah. and be ready. Yeah, I say the same thing. Um what type of uh challenges or adversities have you had to overcome in your career? Well, I I feel like there's been a big learning curve to be honest. Um I had never run a company before. And so now there's so many things I've learned and also people that I've needed to lean on that I didn't even know that I would need that. Right. And so support so, system is huge yeah, support system. And then being willing to, to, um, find support system to help you delegate things that aren't your strong suit. So right. We recently brought in, um, an operations manager nice. because, um, it was too, it, too much on one person, if right. you will. And so being able to, identify what you can have somebody help you with so yeah. that you can then be able to focus on the things that are going to help your business grow. And so, you know, not necessarily in the beginning, it wasn't appropriate for that. But when you get to a point where you do need to be shifting your focus on the growth strategies and the things that are going to really move that needle versus um, every little tiny detail, I think yeah. that that's in, that's been important for me to learn how to do and um, delegation is a skill I'm still working on. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. But, um, so, you know, I feel like the struggle is is that in that figuring out when is the right time to bring other people on. And then um, to the masses of people <laughs> like it's just it's a lot. It's a really great problem to have. And right. Like, what we soon learned is we needed to figure out really how to harness the number of people that were attending events and our membership and how are we providing that value and continuing to look for ways to support everyone that is, uh, you know, attending our events and how we can be there for them. But then also just keep our heads above water too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's super important. That's a common theme on this podcast too, is just like a lot of the people that I talk to are people who are staying really busy, doing mm -hmm. a lot of stuff and me included. So it's like, it's not easy to do it. You can't, it's like pretty much impossible to do all the things that we're trying to do on our own. Right. And it does take a village and a team sometimes to just make the, the most of, of what you're trying to get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, so and like you mentioned burnout earlier, I feel like that's so easy. Um, I feel like I hear so many people talking about that because especially if you're goal driven and right. you've got a big goal, there's a lot to do and it feels like you're never, you're, you're never getting there. There's always more to do. And I, I really struggle with that. I'm a busy body, so I don't relax well anyways, yeah. but then when there's just so much to do and so finding that balance and yeah. I did a, um, a vision board workshop here yesterday actually yeah. it was so good. And I chose the word balance, which nice. is not in my normal <laughs> Words. That's not your I vocabulary. <laughs> I know. I normally am like goal, yeah. succeed, and I was like, I'm going to choose balance because I think that it's important to try to make try to make that a focus, or at least try to put that. Into place. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> work work toward not. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean because it's so important. Like, I mean, for me especially too, it's like balance. That is like definitely a word of the year for me. P peace is yeah. also, but. Yeah, it's just because I get burnt out, man. I I will sit here and just like put all my energy into music or whatever, and then I'm like, I'm exhausted. And I don't even want to do this anymore. It's not fun for me anymore. And you can't you can't do that because you will burn out. And like, burn out. um, part of my entire thing is just like trying to find something like once a week that maybe doesn't involve something like that music or whatever it is, and just putting my whole heart into having fun or relaxing or whatever. So like. What been, is that for you? Well, for me, I've been like reading a lot lately, which okay. has been like really fun for me to like get. I used to read a lot, maybe like in high school and stuff. But, you know, I find myself just completely not doing anything like that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, just constantly inundated with like social media and like my brain is just burning. And I'm just like, I need to find something <laughs> go, else. Go, so, go. I yeah. So I finally just like got a Kindle and I've been reading. So I like read. A, I've been I've read um, 10 books this year so far. Wow. Congratulations. So I, thank you. I've been, That's I feel like, 10 more than me, I feel like. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself because it's That's been great. it's been a really great way for me to relax at the end of the day. I like to light a candle. Yeah. I like to get into something cozy and just like so have it. like fiction, nonfiction? It's where are you? Mostly fiction. Okay. I like to like just, I like um, 
psychological thrillers okay. and stuff like that. Just anything that's just like completely different from my normal from day to day. Yes. Yeah. And um, that. so that's been really fun for me. And I, I have a heated blanket, so I'll just like get underneath it and just like relax. And I, I should sometimes I feel guilty for that, which is like not fair. I I can read a book if I want to read a book. You know what I mean? Like we should yes. be able to do that. And I'm like, oh my God, I should be like out at the bars right now or like meeting people and I, I just I can't <laughs> you give yourself that space. Yes. What have too. you been up to that has <laughs> been able to well how do you at the end of the day when you're like getting ready to lay down and just shut off? What do you do to like relax? Um, I know you struggle with the but I struggle with <laughs> relaxing, but by the end of the day I'm usually pretty tired. And you got um, your kids too. I got kids. <laughs> yeah. We I mean my husband and I we're just we are sometimes we're going in different directions to ball fields. Yeah. But it's it's so fun. Um, you know, the last thing I'm doing before I'm going to sleep is saying prayers and then that's a- able to help relax me. For but, sure. Meditating is yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But for me, I mean, like every day, I know I told you earlier, I'd already been to the gym today, but I get cranky if I don't get my gym time in. Same. So I really do. That's a priority for me. And so not only like staying in shape, but just for just mental health. It's yeah, really. Great. It is. It's, it's my, another form it's of 45 minutes. Right. Not be in charge of anything. Right. So. Exactly. That yeah. is another form of meditating or like mm-hmm. finding that balance. I, that's great. That's a that's a really good one. And it's good for you. So, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's <laughs> it's a blessing yeah i know but you get you gotta just focus on i bet you're in there on the treadmill like emailing at the same time you can't well, be sometimes doing that i don't even wear my watch because i'm like it's just going off yeah <laughs> take, that, take that off that's <laughs> hey you have to do that that's so important um i'm glad that you got to come over here last night though and do some yes. events over here at connect nashville has the space is so beautiful and i can't yeah. wait to do a women connect event here. well i was gonna ask have you yeah. have you done anything yet or is there Not anything yet. in the world in the works okay. so yeah we've been tr- trying to figure out exactly like when would be a good time what we would do and you yeah know, how we can how we can bring our women here to experience the space oh it's that's beautiful. gonna be awesome yeah. i hope they get to do that really soon they always have a lot of cool stuff going over going on over here at connect nashville yeah, that rooftop and that pool area is yeah cool. oh my gosh they had like a pool jam the other day it's like they when the pool opened they had a full concert up there i got to sing that's and there's insane. like yeah it was I'm it was so fun oh I yes we're gonna do another one um i think next month in may okay so hopefully you can come to that yeah. and yeah um i think that's pretty much gonna wrap us up here if there's anything else that you would like to say give us a shout out on your you know give your website a shout yeah. out anything like that social medias please feel free to share that right yes. now <laughs> I, well we have a brand new website it is Ooh. we are women com. so we just wrapped everything all up into one brand and so our membership includes all states that we're in currently and it's um so i would love for you to check out our website we are womenconnect.com and then our instagram for that is women connect official yes. um, as well as every state has its own um we got instagram covered <laughs> good the socials so, got all the socials so <laughs> we would we would love for you to check us out and if you're a professional woman would love for you to come join us it's the most um, incredible group of welcoming women. And I think that that's so important. It's not clicky and good. We would be excited and thrilled to have somebody join us and just learn about what other people do and let other people learn about you. That's so. amazing. So it's, we are women connect.com. And then what was the Instagram again? Women connect official women connect official. Okay, women perfect. Lucy, thank you so much for joining us thank over you for here. Me. This was so fun. Oh, good. I'm glad you had a good time. We're so happy that you got to come out. Everyone back home, thank you so much for checking out Connect the Dots once again. I'm Zach Day. You can follow me everywhere at You Know Zach. Feel free to check out Connect Nashville at Connect Nashville. I guess that's it. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.